15 Things You Didn't Know About Bill Gates. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back to another amazing video. We love entrepreneurs here at Alux, especially those who do incredible, world-changing things. So we wanted to bring you another incredible video about one of the most famous. Bill Gates founded Microsoft in 1975 with Paul Allen, wanting to become the world's largest PC software company and succeeding. He's also an author, public speaker, extremely prominent philanthropist, and one of our favorite dropouts. Because Alox.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource on the most influential entrepreneurs and business people, we're working on an entire series with important figures that aspire us to become better. This time, we're taking a look at 15 things you didn't know about Bill Gates. Number 1. He has been Forbes' world's richest man for 17 years and is still the current richest. We may as well start with the big bucks. He hasn't been the richest man for 17 years running, with a few breaks along the way, but he has been in that list more than anyone else. As of 2017, he's the current richest man in the world, with Spanish retailer Armancio Ortega coming in second. When he was young, he wanted to become a millionaire by the time he turned 30. He managed to become a billionaire at 31. One of the interesting facts is that he didn't make our list of the richest people who ever lived. If you didn't check it out, click on the top right corner to do so. Number 2. His charitable deeds make him the most generous person on earth. All that wealth has led to a lot of generosity. He's given away over $27 billion throughout his life through the charitable organization he runs with his wife and has pledged to give 95% of his wealth to charitable causes throughout his life. Number 3. The first computer program he wrote was a game of tic-tac-toe. During his time at Lakeside Prep School, he created a program on the one General Electric computer that the school had. He was 13 at the time, and his creativity led the school to give him the job of writing the computer code that scheduled classes. Gates abused his power slightly and made sure he put himself in all of the classes with the most girls. Despite dropping out of college, Bill was a very successful student. On his SATs, he scored 1590 out of 1600. Number 4. In 1994, Gates bought a collection of Leonardo da Vinci's writings for $31 million. The Codex Leicester was bought at auction by Gates, and it gives a unique insight into the mind of the great Renaissance artist and inventor. When he bought it, Gates had the pages scanned into digital copies, which he published online for free, so everyone has access to them. He even had them become Microsoft wallpaper and screensaver files. Since then, it's been on display around the world. Number 5. In the first five years of Microsoft, Gates personally checked every line of code and rewrote it himself if there was an error. As a skilled programmer, Gates was able to oversee every aspect of his small company in the early years. At this point, they were still operating from a house in Bellevue, Washington. Around 20 years later, Jeff Bezos would found Amazon in Bellevue too. Maybe there's something in the water. Speaking of Jeff, our next video is on him, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Number 6. He's got a net worth of over $80 billion, but Gates is leaving $10 million to each of his children. Rather than dividing his entire fortune up equally, his children are getting comparatively modest inheritances. Gates is quoted as saying leaving kids massive amounts of money is not a favor to them, so he's literally putting his money where his mouth is. This is an interesting move, especially considering the kids should be worth billions. Just hypothetically, if Bill Gates was a country, he'd be the 63rd richest country in the world, four to five times richer than North Korea. Number 7. When Steve Jobs was dying of cancer, 
Gates wrote him a letter and he kept it beside his bed. They were famous rivals, but the two men also had a strong bond and spent a lot of time together when Jobs was dying. Gates insists there was no need to make peace with Jobs. We were not at war. We made great products and competition was always a positive thing. If you've watched our video on Apple, you'll know that Gates stole Microsoft from Jobs. That's how they all got started. Regarding the accusations of stealing, Bill once said, It's like we both had this rich neighbor called Xerox, and when I broke in to steal his TV, I found out that you already stole it. Number 8. Gates is an honorary knighthood from the Queen, but cannot call himself Sir. Gates received this honor from the Queen in 2005, and apparently chatted to her about computers. You have to be British to be able to call yourself Sir or Dame, so Gates' American citizenship means he can't enjoy this aspect of a knighthood, but he does get to use the initials KBE after his name. Number 9. He has promised $100,000 to whoever creates the next generation condom. Whichever scientist is the first to create a condom which, quote, significantly preserves or enhances pleasure, will receive a big check from Gates as a thank you. One of the main focuses of the Gates Foundation is access to healthcare around the world, so a condom people actually want to use would protect a lot of people from STIs. Besides that, the man's on a mission to have no poor countries in the world by 2035. Number 10. At his wedding to Melinda French, Bill rented out every hotel room in the hotel to ensure privacy. The wedding budget was clearly vast, and money does buy privacy. When they married in Hawaii, Gates chartered every helicopter on the island and booked up the entire hotel so no journalists or interested parties could eavesdrop. Talk about being a big baller. Gates is definitely an A-luxer. Number 11. Gates' home has a super intelligent operating system that can be customized by his guests. If you're lucky enough to be invited into his Washington estate, nicknamed Zandu 2.0, you're asked to wear a pin badge which will adjust lighting, temperature and music to their liking. You can change the artwork with a button. And there's a trampoline room too. Owning such an incredible house comes at a price. He's paying $1 million per year in property taxes for his house. Speaking of taxes... Number 12. In 2006, the IRS used a special computer to calculate Gates' taxes. His tax returns can't be processed on a normal computer, so they can accommodate all of those zeros. No one knows which operating system this particular computer uses, but we hope it's Microsoft and not Linux. Number 13. The profile placeholder image for Microsoft Outlook 2010 is based on Bill Gates' 1977 mugshot. Gates was arrested for speeding and driving without a license in Mexico when he was 21, immediately paying his bail from his wallet and had a smiling mugshot. The outline of this mugshot became the basis of the placeholder image for Microsoft's email program. Number 14. In 1998, Bill Gates was earning about $1 million every hour. This equates to $300 every second and an hourly rate most of us could never even dream of. This is where the it wouldn't be worth it for him to bend over and pick up a thousand dollar bill joke comes from. But Bill's really not that type of guy. He continued to fly coach up until 1997, even though at the time he was worth $36 billion. Number 15. Gates has patented a weather-controlling machine. The machine doesn't stop it from raining so that Gates can go on his private beach. It's a bit bigger than that. The machine pumps cold water into the ocean and attempts to block or at least lessen hurricanes. Speaking of machines, he recently financed one that turns poop into water. Bill Gates is truly an incredible man, and not just because he's changed the world through his technology, but because of his many charitable deeds too. It's suggested that he saved 5 million lives through funding vaccines around the world. 
If you were a billionaire like Bill, what would your priorities be? Would you be in the office for 20 hours a day working on new inventions? Or would you be taking Lamborghinis for test drives all day? Oh, you're still here? Well, here's another amazing fact about Bill Gates for you. If he does only give his children 10 million each, he will be set to give away more than 95% of his wealth, just as he's promised. There's no other billionaire in the world who can claim the same. Also, the only thing left on his bucket list is not to die. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.